Hi, welcome to Soul Sunday, a series of Sunday meditations and techniques that can easily be interspersed into your life, bringing you more freedom and peace. My name is Maggie Simpson, and this week's talk is fear, the root of all fears, which, dare I say it, is death. So, in the past, my friends would say, oh, you're fearless. And maybe that was correct. But really, I'd shut down my fears. Shut down. So I didn't feel fear. So it wasn't scary to me. Which sounds great. But the downside is that you shut down other emotions. So you're left in a really limited band of experience. So you feel quite bored, which I've come to realize isn't actually an emotion, just a shutdown. And so now I've started talking about fears, you'll all be running around doing your avoidance of fear uh, strategies. The classic ones are Maybe you've got some washing up to do, or cleaning, or a dinner to make, or a run, or some other exercise. Just keeping yourself really, really busy. Or maybe you're all of a sudden really tired and need to zone out on the sofa and watch some mindless film. Whatever it is, stop. And I welcome you to invite a fear or any fear, just a gentle fear. Maybe you are just completely overwhelmed by fear in your life in general and just take it as normal. So whatever it is, welcome a fear. Surround it with your own love and awareness. And feel where you feel it in your body. Feel how it feels in your body. I've got some shaking in my arms at the moment. A little... Just a little shaking. And just taking your awareness into your toes, into your soles of your feet, into your heels, into your calves, into your knees, into your thighs, into your bum, and just feel how this fear feels in your body as it comes up to your lower organs and your tummy and your liver and your kidneys all the way up your spine in your back in your shoulders down your arms and your elbows and your wrists and your fingertips up through your throat all the way up through your throat and open a little hole in your, imagine opening a hole in your head and letting all this fear out, all the way up your spine and out through the top of your head. And stay really still and wait, welcome another wave of fear. And really feel how it feels in your body. Really place your awareness in your body. might just be a sense or a knowing. You might even hear words. Just allowing all that fear to come and go. Stay really still as it just comes and goes, surrounding it with your own love and awareness. And just relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. And taking a deep breath of courage in. And blowing out any tension or holding. Still aware of this fear. Surrounding it with your own love and awareness. Everything safe. Opening and deepening. And diving right into the heart of fear. Staying open and curious. And now, 
I invite you to welcome excitement into your body. Again, welcoming all the excitement. Just remembering a time when you were really, really excited. Into your toes, balls of your feet, the heels, legs, knees, thighs, lower organs, all the way up the spine, into your heart, up your throat and out to the top of your head and just feel how that feels. And just checking in with yourself. How does it feel in your body? I've got some fizzing in my legs. Check in to see what the difference, difference is. Have you got any difference? Is there a difference? In my experience, the only difference between a feeling of fear in your body and a feeling of excitement is our perception of what it might be. Something that's changing, something that's different. So just welcoming any fear. What might it be? A fear of rejection, a fear of loneliness, a fear of generally waking up and getting up in the morning, a fear of Incompetence, a fear of not getting it right. What is the fear with you? Really open and check in with your body. Fear of criticism, fear, fear of persecution, fear of being average, normal, fear of being special. Everybody has different fears, so just welcoming whatever is true to you. And surrounding it with your own well, own awareness, your own love. Befriending, acknowledging these fears. And just opening, deepening. Just I heard that emotions are just electrical impulses, they're just hormones in the body. And they can just stay low, stay around. If you place a story, I feel like this because so and so made me scared. If you could just drop all blame, all story and just feel the fear rawly and truly. Just breathing in that balloon of courage. And letting it out. And just taking that awareness spaciously in front of you now. Limitlessly behind. And you may close your eyes if you feel like it. Open to all sides. Free below. And sky like above. And just falling into what's beneath the fear, what's truly here, what's underneath it all. And diving right into that. So I've got a sadness coming. I'm going to open and dive right into the heart of that sadness, into the core of that sadness. I acknowledge there's a loss there. A fear of loss. And I acknowledge that I, I lost my dad in February. So I, I'm connecting to that.
And my biggest fear, my core issue, as I say, was being unloved. And I've just realized the connection to being unloved was mainly unloved by my dad, which of course wasn't true. But that was somehow in my childhood I connected a core belief that if I was unloved, particularly by my dad, then I would die. So I did everything I possibly could to get his love and everyone else's love. You know, being nice, charming, maybe humorous, doing lots of things to help. And this, of course, is really tiring. And and you're not really living from your truth if you're doing all these things just to, to stop dying. And it's a bit of a shame, or a bit of a paradox, really, if the whole time living in this life, you're scared of living it truly and 100% because you might die. So just opening into whatever's here right now. Where do you feel it in your body? And just opening and deepening, relaxing. Relaxing, relaxing, and just allowing it. Just a few issues, allowing it to completely overwhelm you, doing really well. And just dive right into the core of it now. Welcoming, and just continuing this. Very simple technique, just welcoming the emotion, opening, allowing whatever's next to be here, staying really still. Until you naturally drop into a vast, open space. And expanding and deepening and diving to the heart of this vast open space, allowing whatever's here to be here. And I've got that tingling, that tingling, alive feeling. All things are possible. I'm alive. I can hear the birds that behind me. I can connect with them. I can feel freedom. And knowing myself as this freedom, it says to the fears of being unloved, don't be silly. You are love. It's your nature. It's your truth. And I let us allow that love just to wash up through into this freedom which I am. And I'd be really, really interested to feel or to see what's happening for you. And if you could just put a comment on this post. What are you feeling? Did you feel the same things as I did? Different. Everybody's different. Did you have the same knowings? I'd really be interested. Well, I hope this short introduction to fears has encouraged you to, to stop and open and welcome all your fears and use them as your gift to dive right into the soul of yourself, to the heart of yourself.
And if you found this interesting, please join us next Sunday, where there'll be another scintillating topic. Have a, a great rest of Sunday, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.